to what's up YouTube, Body R6 here, Kissimmee, Florida. Um, I'm actually doing a quick review of my friend's uh, ZX uh, 6R. It's a uh, 2000. It's a 2008, and uh, he did a few mods on it. And I decided to go ahead and take it for a spin to see what you know what the big big fuzz of uh, Kawasaki is. Since everybody knows I'm a big, big fan of uh, of Yamaha, um, I'm a diehard fan of Yamaha R6s. So I decided to ch uh, take this for a ride and and give you my own uh, review and opinions of the bike. Uh, first of all, um, right off the bat, the bike is actually a little bit heavier than the R6 itself. Um, I'm not sure how many pounds. I would probably have to search and see what what it is, but exactly. Um, but I, it, it's uh, it's actually noticeable uh, the difference from uh, from the R6. Um, the other thing I did notice um, as soon as I got on the bike is the positioning of the rider itself in the bike. Uh, you're actually more upright on this bike than the R6 and um, uh, I mean it's comfortable you know no doubt it's a definitely a very comfortable positioning on the bike itself but the R6 um, it kind of leads you to the front a little bit more to like towards the front um, on this bike I think it was uh, I think it's modded what he told me, he's he's got a power commander right now on the bike, and uh, he's got a chip, modded chip, and uh, it makes a big difference on these bikes, uh, factory-wise. I rode one of these a factory, and it's a big difference than uh, with this one th that has a power commander. Um, overall, to be honest, it's an awesome bike. Uh, the colors are awesome in these bikes. I got to say, Kawasaki has done an excellent job as far as uh, color scheme on these bikes. Me in particular, I love the green. Um, I just love it. I wish that uh, Yamaha R6s would come in that green green color. Um, overall, as you can see, it's an awesome bike. I mean, it's it's sexy. It's a beautiful bike. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it for a spin and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, review it while I actually ride the bike itself in a few minutes. Uh, that's why I got my two GoPros mounted and then my uh, head cam uh, mounted as well. So, anyway, overall, um, again, so far, as far as stability wise, um, it's not the friendliest bike for short people. Um, I'm actually five six five, almost five seven, and uh, even my R6 Yamaha R6 sits a little bit lower than this one. So this one sits a little bit slightly higher. The seat, um, the seat is a little bit higher than my R6 that originally came without me dropping it but uh it feels good i mean overall it feels awesome bike and uh, the pickup the power band on this bike is definitely definitely different from the r6 um i actually like the power band on this bike better to be quite honest with you uh with you guys um the r6 um it's a little bit different, like I said. Power band is completely different. Um, so anyway, overall, sexy looking bike. Sexy freaking collars on this bike, factory wise. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and take it for a nice spin and, and see how it handles um, out there on the road. So. So I'll go ahead and uh, we'll go and continue on the ride. So see you guys in a little bit. I'm going. 
going about 70, 75 miles an hour. And wow, this thing can pick up. Yeah, like I said, handling wise, this bike is a dream. Shifting is really, really smooth. Uh, compared to the R6, it's a little bit rougher. Shifting wise. Uh, overall, it's a lot smoother uh, shifting in the ZX um, 6R. Yeah, it definitely handles amazing. Yeah, that shows you guys, every bike is so different. Um, I gotta say, I could definitely get used to this bike. Um, it's super, super smooth. I like that. In comparison to the, uh, to the R6, I gotta say, it's definitely a big difference. And the fact that it's so heavy, uh, the bike is a little bit heavier, you actually feel more stable on the road. I gotta say, it's definitely a fun bike to uh, to ride, and the power on this thing is amazing. Pretty sweet. Man, I love it. Every time it backfires, it's just fucking great. I gotta say, um, I'm pretty impressed with the ZX uh, 6R. Power band is just awesome. It's definitely, definitely got some power, my friends. Um,
I would definitely give him that. Um, you know, like I said, overall impressions, it's an awesome bike. And uh, I would definitely get um, get into one of these. Um, I would definitely consider this bike as one of my choices for the future. Um, I, uh, I, you know, basically the the color scheme is just uh, it's awesome on these, uh, and performance overall is awesome. Everything else is really really cool on these these bikes. Um, Again, uh, I'm a Yamaha hardcore fan. I'm not really sure if I would definitely go to and swap to uh, Kawasaki, but uh, I wanted to uh, bring you these uh, this quick review on this bike and uh, and definitely show you guys what it has and and definitely uh, whoever's rocking this bike, well deserved. Ha happy for you, man and. Um, It'll definitely, uh, it, it's, it's a definitely fun bike to have for many, many years and, uh, and enjoy it, so. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, again, my overall impressions, 8 out of 10. Awesome fucking bike. Stop right there. Awesome fucking bike. Um, coming from a Yamaha hardcore fan. And performance, uh, definitely, definitely superb on this bike. So it's been great talking to you guys and make sure to hit subscribe on the button below and check my other videos uh, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.